Who the F are you, Bill? <gasps> Did I miss my chance to do Desmond's story five? Do you regret anything, Desmond? Like what? Running away? Leaving your parents behind, finding a shit job and pretending to be productive? What's it like spending your whole life avoiding hard decisions? Come on. Sure, you're an assassin, but it wasn't your choice. Do you have a point? I want to know if you regret anything. Hmm. Sure. I wish I'd been more patient with my parents. I wish I'd listened. And Lucy. Maybe things could have been different if I'd... I'm not sure. Thank you. <gasps> For what? For making sense. Aww. It's hard for him. Nothing makes sense for subject 16. So I could actually go do his last one right now. Let's do it. Yeah. Regret. I wish I'd been a little more patient. I wish I'd listened to my parents. Mm. Memory sequence archived. Warning. Recursive idle state instability. Stack overflow imminent. What's your favorite AC, Grimmar? If you've played them. Yeah, me too, Naruto. Hey, A! Roblox! Oh my god. Oh. I'm in an elevator. After nine years of being away, my old bitterness was back. I was tired again. I didn't want to admit that moving forward might mean taking a step back. Mm. The shine yeah. of the city had faded. The <gasps> freedom I felt was hollow without old friends, without family. And then, then they came for me. Abstergo. They had been looking for me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't believe it. I'm sorry, but the music is so good in this. Like the way that that is so like effortlessly melded into it. Oh God, why, 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 why? Ah! Mr. Miles. Yeah? I spent half my life trying to forget everything my parents taught me. Everything I thought Sorry. was a lie. Sorry, I heard a treasure. Yeah, what's this about? And suddenly, I wanted it all back. All that training, all that time, Aww. but I couldn't. Those days, they were gone. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. You can't blame yourself, though. You I'm were a, a kid. For Christ's sake. We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. 
You're an assassin. You've got something my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. Bastards! I feel so bad for him. I love Desmond. What can I say? I love Desmond. Okay, I think I just have to be fast. Esports. Esports. Roblox. Esports. Roblox frantically. Billionaire in our in farm farming sim. Oh, Black Flag is y'all's favorite? That's so cool. I'm excited. So many good ones ahead. So many good. No. Oh. short months my life changed forever i know my easiest days are behind me oh but i don't want them back not now wow Take one step at a time. There's no need to rush. It's like learning to fly. Of falling in love. It's gonna My name is Desmond Miles. And I am an assassin. Yes, Desmond! Oh my gosh. Remember when I stole the pen? So many memories. We did it! We Roblox the hell out of it! We love you, Desmond. You are an assassin, honey. Are you Desmond Miles as the achievement? Sorry, New outfit. You okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're assassins. After all, aren't we, eh? Why should we be surprised if one of us dies every now and again? Every oh. death is a tragedy to somebody somewhere. What I want to know is, is Desmond worth all this trouble? You know, what, what is he? Is he the, the chosen one? Is that it? Little Jimmy special? Some bollocks like that? I'm afraid not. But what he has is rare. 
His genes contain high concentrations of first civilization DNA. Only about one in ten million are so lucky. Oh, the wow. bleeding effect. Is that part of it? I believe so. I wish I could say we knew about his gift earlier. But what about his but parents? But it was the Templars who realized this. And they found him first. You knew, you know who has the special genetics? One in, in 10 million? Anouk. Unifex, thank you for gifting us up to Red. And someone else earlier. Thank you. His parents only have 50%. Okay, I see. Did they know about that with Desmond before I he ran away? I Constantinople and set sail for the interior of Anatolia to a region called Cappadocia where Manuel is training his soldiers. If I am lucky, I will not be alone, for there may be Ottoman spies in the area waiting to strike. But, as ever, I put stock only in myself and hold the memory of dear Sophia close to my heart. No! Claudia, you would laugh to hear the racing thoughts of your brother now. <laughs> I have come to admire Sophia with more affection than I thought possible. He's in love. After the death of Christina, Something withered in me. Oh. But that feeling, that capacity for love, has returned. <laughs> I adore Sophia, but dare not drag her into this life of mine. Not without fear of hurting her or driving her away. But honey, you deserve love. You deserve it so much. And you should give her the choice. of an army here and no signs of Tarek's men oh my god the hidden city Cappadocia locate the missing Ottoman spies and work with them to find the Templars oh my god hell yeah oh my god you look so cute new items unlocked up who Hey, Kenway Nut. <laughs> I wonder who Kenway's Kenway Nuts' his favorite assassin is and favorite assassin game. <laughs> I love it. Like old Altair robes. You're right, Dante. This is like elder assassin shit. Oh my god, this is so good. something about him
Oh, is it up? Oh. Or maybe. Nope. Is it in here or is it up? Pineapple. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Up. Do waffles have vitamin D? <laughs> There should be some gnomes and fairies in here. Um, I'm sorry. How do I get up? <laughs> I was just there, wasn't I? Here we go. It's like meditative for me, I swear. The climbing and stuff. What a viewpoint. Wow. Where would they be? Oh my god, there are so many Animus Fragments. In this place. Listen, you shit. 
I'm sorry. I'm just trying to find some spies. Catch me a break. Catch me a break. Okay. Sorry. I got things to do. Oh. Why is she a ghost? I see a ghost. Ah! Hello. Ilara. Nice, London. A Turkish woman born in the Topkapi harem, Delara was raised from birth to honor the Sultan and his family and trained to desire nothing more than a fine husband and a lofty station in life. The strict set of boundaries did not please or amuse her, however, valid, and she quickly gained a reputation as an ill-mannered and brazen upstart. This suited her just fine, as it did a janissary named Tariq Barletti, who quite admired her boldness. Taken by her charms, Tar Tariq eventually arranged for her release to work as an envoy for the Janissaries, half out of kindness and half hoping this would win Delara's affections. It did not and became a source of much grief for Tariq in his later years. Okay, well, maybe you should just do things, good things just to do good things, but... I get it. She's cute. Not so close, Adi Herif. Oh. Easy now. Tarek sent me. Only you? Why not more? I am enough. What oh. are your men? Captured by Byzantines over a week ago. I was dressed to look like a slave and managed to escape. But the others? Are you a capable fighter? I like to think so. Well, when you are certain. Come find me. <laughs> he loves sassy women. When will I get money? Caught another of the Sultan's spies lurking about. A woman this time, disguised as a harlot of low birth. <laughs> Sending his harem girls now, eh? Hey. It seems the Sultan is running out of skilled fighters. Where did uh, you take her? Come Inside, on. Into the prisons. But she won't last long. Not with Shakulu in charge. <laughs> She's been discovered imprisoned in imprisoned by the Byzantines. Now her fate is uncertain. Do not kill anyone. I can't promise it, besties. I cannot promise it. Okay, well, I'm going to climb up probably this way. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay. How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? Wow, that. A few weeks at most. Janissaries will know I have betrayed them by now. <gasps> but do they have the resources? I mean, for he's got the drip, though. Like, look at Dumb that outfit. The Sultan's battle with Selim 
commands most of their attention. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that smell? Bodies? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so fragile. Oh my god, this is so scary. Jakub, try to moderate your anger. I know the Sultan humiliated your people, but there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. Oh, there is no need to spit you on men who are beneath the us. from the prison and bring her to the chapel. Sakulu, I don't have the key. Find it! <gasps> I don't like Shakulu. Who has the key? You? I think Nicholas has it. He's on leave in the market. Christemu, I'd like to run that man through with a spear. Yourself, taxi. <laughs> this is scary, and the environment of it being in a freaking cavern makes it scarier. Okay, by any means. Wow. <laughs> by any means. Well, that works. <laughs> So let's go back this way. Sorry. We gotta save the pretty girl. Did I tell you guys about the creation I made? with a sugar cone for ice cream, um, some Nutella, coating the cone on the inside, and then some chocolate ice cream and some cookies and cream ice cream. You took your time. You are oh. welcome. <laughs> what is that? Not everyone was taken prisoner. Poor men. That Turkman renegade did this. Shah Kulu. Yeah. I'll kill him. He scares Wait. me. I didn't kill anyone. The spy who shunned me. Why can't I use my... I think... Th I thought that I could use my parachutes. 
Why couldn't I have used my parachutes? I'm sorry. If you can't do ice cream, you can just put the Nutella in the cone. Delish. Unless it's more about the sugar. And then if that done nice, I apologize. Next I will see a dancing <laughs> what? I provide care for all. I love this song. And I'd have been a man on our Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. So empty and scary. Up? Yeah, I think it's this way. Whoa, what the hell? You do not cooperate very well. I'm here to rescue my men, not make friends. Right there. That armor is too thick for bullets. I would have to get in close. Jonas, we have to help him. She's beautiful. Okay, easy peasy. Wait, I can't use that? Why would not? Okay. My bad. Oh my god, stop. Oh no! Oh no! Oh god! How do I get up? What the hell? Oh. Well, that's fine. I don't even know if I'm going to succeed in this. He might die. But a crossbow is not a gun. <laughs> okay, let's try to do that a little bit better. Good night, Matt! What's the point of getting books, though? Like, what will I get if I get books? If I buy books? Hi, Rob! Oh my god, no worries! How did that go? How did the, the commercial go? Look, look, I have so many books in the back here, okay? I don't need to recreate that IRL. I mean, in the game, spend all my money on books. But what's the point of really rare books if I'm almost done with the game? Is it Twilight? Is it Fifty Shades of Grey? Oh, sweet cutscene. Okay, cool. Thanks. That's all I needed to know. That is all I needed to know. But I see her again. 
I'm so happy. Or he goes back. I think the plan was always to go back, right? I don't understand how to do this. Nope. There we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that cross. Make for the moss. Men who make a fetish out of murder deserve no pity. Nope. <laughs> <gasps> wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Oh shit, we're gonna have to fight? I'll do it. You were too scared to do one on one, you piece of shit. Kick you in the balls, kick you in the butt, kick you in the balls, and I kick you in the butt. Can you walk? Evet. The rifles you brought, right. they should be destroyed. Most of them don't actually work, but the gunpowder is real. We could not fake that. Bene. Keep out of sight until you hear the explosions. Then, you run. Explosions? If you do that, all hell will break loose. You will panic the entire city. See, si, I am counting on you. <laughs> Chaos. Then, then I find Manuel Palea Logos. The music! Okay, but I haven't found... a bookstore here? Oh, it's right here. Nice. I don't know if I have the money for it. I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't know if I can afford it. Oh, I just got paid. Books. Well, let me go time, get m I'm sure. my money. Let me go get paid and see where I'm at. <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad. So what's the point? What do I do? Then everyone's saying like, I need to get the books, but I can't afford them. So I'm not getting solutions, but I'm getting, you need to buy the rare books, but I can't afford them. So what do I do? You guys are idiots. That's funny. Yeah. A fortune smile upon our continued business together. Stop losing. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. I'm just trying to buy some books. Please. What? Just leave me in peace. Please. 
the gun. Place. I want to go back to Constantinople. Yeah, guys, I'll just watch the cutscene on YouTube. It's a little silly. To spend so much time on it. I feel like it's not a good way to spend my stream time. I don't want to worry about it. Cigar! Cigar! This is gunpowder, not millet! I got it! <laughs> We got some parkouring up to do. We got some parkouring to do. Destroy the gunpowder. Yep, we'll do. Piece of cake. What's the 100%? I forgot about it. Thank you, Tech. Thanks for letting me know. Don't take any damage. Oh my god. Imagine if I was like, I'm going to play every single Assassin's Creed game for the first time. No! 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 I'm like, I'm going to play every single Assassin's Creed game, but I'm going to 100% all of them what would you guys do i don't think you would watch me Him now. 
Hi, Kondo. Thank you. That's so nice. Thank you. I thought I won. I'm getting out of here. Ezio Brutal Auditore de Ferenze. You think you can escape? Right, Homelander. Well, the most annoying thing is the people who were so mad that I don't immediately lock on. That's the most annoying thing. The people, there was one person I had to mute them from the channel because they were just like, yeah, I told them to lock on! I'm pooping my pants because you don't lock on right at the start! So I had to buy him more pants. I had to send him more pants. There we go, I locked on at the beginning. I just don't give a shit. I don't really die in battle. So I don't care. <laughs> Dumb ways to die. Why are there so many? There we go, locked on, but I did get hit. That's what they don't like. If I get hit ever. <laughs> I love doing that. Hey. Punk, why are you telling me the most basic <laughs> instructions? I don't need that. That is unsolicited tips. Press RT plus A to judge. I know. Manuel. You need to take cover. 
Get out of my way! Citizens! Soldiers! Compose yourselves! You can't Templar you your way out see? of this. We are the Chaos! Anarchy! We are the lords of this land. We are Byzantines! Mm, um, I don't think they're listening. <laughs> Stand fast. Do not let anyone break it. <laughs> the absolute fear. Paleologos is trying to calm his people amid the chaos. A perfect, perfect opportunity to kill him. I can't wait to kill him. I'm so excited. Yes! I did that perfectly. No! Is that Off the Grim Reaper? <laughs> that's exactly what I was going for. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> So I need to. Okay, okay, we're we're good. Let's go. Let's go. I will not die for this boat. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how. Um. I don't understand. Fat candles escaping. <laughs> And then I was like, they wouldn't be so stupid to make the gates climbable, would they? <laughs> but, you know, I feel like even Meg Mage could climb those IRL. You, you take advantage of a poor and displaced people. Projection. You think us to further your own vain quest. Projection. <laughs> but we fight for dignity, assassin. Um. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. No. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. <laughs> That's true. Because power begets peace, Flaka. Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fell hand to lift them up oh and keep them in God, line. Oh my God, whatever. There he is. The monster I came to kill. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, he's gonna fight me. <laughs> No way, I just killed him. <laughs> no way. Was that supposed to happen in one shot? I should have been Constantine's successor. He had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Huh? But I am not the only one with this vision, Assassin. The dream of our order is universal. Honey, pass but away. These are only labels. Costumes and facades. We need these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Okay, sure. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. And seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. I don't think you will. Have a great rest. Requies gotten pace. Poor Manuel, last of the Palaer Logi. I should not have put him <gasps> in charge five. of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man. Impossible to keep in line. Disappoint me, Ahmed. 
I knew it. I, I knew it. You bitch. Oh my god! Brother. I knew it! To achieve true peace. I Mankind knew it. Must think and move as one body. No! With one mind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. I love how Ezio wasn't Altair even surprised either. He was just like, Delusions. of course. Altair's secrets are not for you. Nope. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf key. Well, you're not going to get them. Keys. Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sofia Sarto. Is that her name? No. She knows nothing. Leave no. her be. We shall see. No. I will kill you if you touch her. I, I will you kill try. you. I will kill you. I will kill you. The Templars now led by Prince Ahmet have threatened to kill Sophie. Yeah. If Ezio does not hand over. <gasps> I'm pissed now. You got me mad now. <laughs> I just had a feeling I knew it. One family and then he's forsaking Suleiman like this. Jesus. I gotta go save my woman. But also I put her in this danger and that's a really sad thing. You made it personal now, jerk. Exactly. Not Sophia. She's literally so innocent and perfect. What happened? Why are they coughing? <gasps> oh no. Wait, was that my explosion? Was that because of me? Did I knew that. There go those the books. Smoky, I can't see. Here we go. I made it. Go at Tio, go at Tio, go at Tio. You got this. No one's going to touch your woman. care about breaking the rules i know so wait did i do that yeah i i <laughs> that was my fault because <laughs> i burnt the weapons well machiavelli is my man and he would say the ends justify the means
Nikola. Our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this codex will have many questions you have yet to 92. Altair, this gift is invaluable. Grazie. So, where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. <laughs> he is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Thank you, Winter. Ready to catapult and watch for my signal. Stay Wait, close. he seems even more rejuvenated at 92. Like, I, f I feel like killing Abbas really instilled some life in him. Brothers born in Venice around 1230 CE or so, these two seemed bred from birth to be explorers. In the early 1250s, they left their native country for Constantinople, both barely 20 years old, with dreams of cashing in on the ongoing Latin occupation of the ancient city. That same year, they opened a trading post and quickly established themselves as men of vision and talent. Over the next few years, the brothers traveled between their new home and Florence, staying long enough to keep ties strong and, in Niccolo's case, father a child named Marco. But even the sacred domestic duty could not tame the fire in Niccolo's belly because he was pregnant. And the brothers <laughs> returned to Constantinople shortly after Marco's birth. In 1256, the brothers sailed south to Acre and from there traveled to Masyaf at the invitation of a man named Darim, whom they had befriended the previous year. Once they arrived, Niccolo and Maffeo Polo found themselves in the company of the legendary assassin. Wait, Marco Polo? Wait, 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 wait. His son was Marco Polo? C -c 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 Combo breaker. That's so cool. They found themselves in the company of the legendary assassin mentor, Altair in. Okay, how do I say Altair in La Ahad? It was a meeting that proved as life altering as it was mysterious. After spending barely a month in Altair's company, Niccolo and Maffeo. Oh, nice. Okay, we're changed men. Now devoted assassins. Nice! They left Masyaf on the eve of a Mongol attack, carrying Altair's codex and five strange artifacts, their value immeasurable and their purpose unclear. Keys. After many weeks of hardship and tragic... <laughs> I was going to say losers. <laughs> tragic losses. Most notably of the codex, which unceremoniously fell into the hands of a raiding Mongol party, the Polo brothers returned to their trading post in Constantinople and began the long process of establishing a functional assassin's guild, drawing on locusts from all corners of the region. Greeks, Turks, Albanians, and Jews, Arabs, but their effects, efforts could not erase their shame of having lost Altair's valuable codex in 1259 after hiding Altair's five Artifacts with great care, they left the city they had called home for nearly a decade and headed east to seek the reigning Mongol Khan on an errand that would be only be completed decades later by Nicola's son, Marco. Marco Polo! Oh yeah! Stay close. I missed this. Let's go this way, guys. Hi, RMP. This way. We're turtles. All right, this way. Let's go. All right, this way. 
Yes, he can climb still. He climbed up that ladder really fast. Wait. Why did I climb up? You got this. You can you can jump. This is like, you know, when we take her back from the dog park. She can, becomes an elderly dog and hobbles like Father, that. Are you hurt? Uh, oh, my son. Uh, the end of an era. <laughs> when I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Nicolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message for whom? I wish I knew. <laughs> oh my gosh. Passing the torch. I have chills. Um, Altair's come a long way, Etsy's come a long way, and Desmond's come a long way. Old boss, new boss. Forgive the haste it. of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle, is the man leading Templars here. Mm -hmm. He is the mastermind behind their Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys. All of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia mm -hmm. and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. <sighs> that and that's a man taking accountability. We love to see it. We love to hear it. I'm going to beg now. Please see the game to the end tonight, please. What is it? Uh, like how much longer is it? Would you guess? Citizens of the Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. If it's 40 minutes an hour, then we'll finish it for sure. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche. It's your auditore. Oh. <laughs> I don't know him. <laughs> Sorry to this man. I don't know who that guy could possibly be. Unifex, thank you for gifting us up to AKA Red. But I am done for now. But chaos returns as always. What? Did we just become best friends? Son, thank you for the 6,000 bits. <laughs> thank you audrey thank you for the raid welcome on everyone yeah of course you don't you don't have to watch because spoilers um thank you so so much hi y'all welcome on in we're gonna finish revelations today thank you so much shin holy crap <laughs> it's so sweet and my favorite song I better have some money. When you walk away. 
you don't hear me say but i don't want to cry so if it's gonna make me cry then i don't want to do it i don't want to no quiero I don't want to cry. I really didn't think I'd finish today. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, Ugh. Julio, I believed you. <laughs> As he rescues a bunch of puppies and reunites with a nuke. <laughs> well, I trust you guys. I don't think it's going to be so depressing. As it can be emotional, just not depressing. Because if this is an end to Ezio's story, it better be worthwhile, you know? Salakareda. <laughs> worth finishing today okay let's go then discovery no i'm pausing alerts just so you know no oh oh my god please tell me that she cut off their arms oh <gasps> did she kill all these people girl you said You have earned your rest, brother. Requiescat in pace. Brothers, sisters. The whole city rises against us, while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. Why? I think he died protecting her, like Ezio requested. You are in a position to negotiate. Kill me and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. 
<laughs> People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. <laughs> of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library, and I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower. <sighs> I love when he when says ready. that. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. Not in this life. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. You think that he'll support you? I don't know about that. Oh, let's see. Hey. How long have you been here? Long enough? I had Ahmed tell as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. <laughs> a just leader would celebrate this, yeah. not seek to unravel it. And I do, I mean, he that was a good part of his rule. He definitely wasn't perfect. That but... is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem, stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. No. That's you. <laughs> Spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No. Oh. That's like my son. That's my son. Oh my god, all the dead people. So quiet. Give your best cry face or respect or heart for Yusuf, because you can't say F. I can't say F's in chat, um, because it's on emote only mode. But give your best, give your best, um, reminisce for Yusuf. No, not laughs. Guys <laughs> are crazy. Not eyes. <laughs> It's <laughs> sad. He saved Sophia, though. Why am I dancing on the graves? I might have to use this. Oh, the hideout. Exchange. Yep. Rescue Sophia before she loses 50% health. I'm stressed out. Hi, Norwegian.
to ensure your safety. So silent. They're right here. Mentor? Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning, I know. But our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin. And I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women and to maintain the dignity of our order as Yusuf did with such passion? It would be an honor. Bene, I am glad. Our enemy is close. Take positions around the tower and wait for my command. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe one day I'll learn to, you know, push. Sorry. Hello. Give me my woman. Where is she? Yeah, where is she? I admire you, Ezio. But your bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio. Not killed. I see. Uh. Kidnapped by the Byzantines so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded the hero. More or less. Ah. Uh. Now, the key. Hot calling Kettle Black. Mm -hmm. First, the girl. <laughs> She's all yours. Sophia! <gasps> Tell your men to back off. What is wrong with this guy? She's all yours. Oh my god! Oh my god, can you imagine?
Not not hurt, but very confused. Oh. I did not mean to drag you into this. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon, but I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening, Ezio. Who are these men? Run! Oh, yeah. He managed to save her. I know it's like... It's like... Helping him cope with with trauma. If I was gonna 100% anything, I'm glad I 100%ed that. Oh. End of the road. Okay, let's go. We are close. Keep steady. Oh! Well, well. You have come to see me off. Obviously. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm trying. Va bene. I am all right. Soldiers, up ahead. I see them. Oh my god, this is so cool! Great job. Austin. Yeah! Ah! No! a good team. Oh my. 
<laughs> I understand that. <laughs> Just move out of the way. You're a good driver! Your determination will be charming. It was not so infuriating. the most fun ever. to tell her and bring her into it and then she was forced into it but she's doing such a good job hey dude oh god gosh we're fighting more dude just take the l oh my god in the cemetery thanks bye so what now it's you how does this end I am wondering that myself. Oh! Uh oh! Forges! Selim is not <gasps> your master! Oh! You serve the Sultan! Oh! You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Uh oh! Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brother. Oh! Uh oh. Selim! <coughs> Stop! Please! Ah! I don't know. I mean, I tried. So, you are the assassin. It's your auditory. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. <laughs> he is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. <laughs> Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Why? Not return. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why? You did the why? right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin? At least he's not a Templar? Doesn't he die kinda soon? Because the prince is like 
major in history. Sounds Bill, like it. Good to see you. Listen, yeah, it sounds like an we've airplane. Got a customs officer waiting to talk to everyone. I hope you have something for us. Absolutely. Passports and papers for everyone. Ah, brilliant. So I'm I'm what? A neurosurgeon now, am I? You're a medical team from SUNY Upstate. Just back from Rome with your patient. Experimental gene therapy. Good work. Let's get this over with. Wait, look. This is crazy. What's wrong? I'm not sure, but Desmond's brain is lighting up like a string of firecrackers. Is he okay? Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion. What? What are you doing? No. What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live. The tales we tell ourselves. Don't do this. I'm saving you, idiot. Oh. Go! these lines with a steady hand and a light heart yeah. we are in Ak right now Sophia and I with the five Masyaf keys in our possession and all the time in the world Sophia is a seasoned traveler and a fine companion to have so far from home tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf and once there into Altair's library to fulfill our father's forgotten dream <laughs> Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister. For it is late, and we are tired. Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me will be in person. Yeah. Con affetto, Ezio. Con affetto. Homecoming! I'm so excited! Such a climb. <laughs> but she's gonna love seeing this. È così bello qui. This is where your order began? It began thousands of years ago, but here it was reborn. By the man you mentioned, Altair? Altair ibn Laahad. He built us up and set us free. He saw the folly of keeping a castle like this. It had become a symbol of arrogance and a beacon for all our enemies. Yeah. And the mandate for menacing hoods? Was that his idea as well? <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned a creed before. What is it? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. That is rather cynical. It would be if it were doctrine. But it is merely an observation of the nature of reality. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile and that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that Over we here. are the architects of our actions and that we must live with their consequences, whether glorious or tragic. Do you regret your decision to live as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. <laughs> This life, it chose me. <laughs> For three decades, I have served the memory of my father and my brothers, and fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself. Yes. And let them go. 
Let go of all of this. Then let go. You will not fall far. And Altair said he wished he had let go sooner. And Ezio is in his 50s, so he'll have time with her. Sagittarius. Cancer. The end of the road. <laughs> oh. What do you hope to find behind that door? Knowledge, above all else. Altair was a profound man and a prolific writer. He built this place as a repository for all his wisdom. He saw many things in his life and learned many secrets, both troubling and strange. Knowledge that would drive lesser men to despair. Does that worry you? Sophia, you should know by now that I am not a lesser man. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't even understand. I thought he. <laughs> I thought he was talking just about his character. Oh my God! This freaking dude. Is it one at a time? Oh, okay. I think it is one at a time then. Those diagrams look like constellations, Ezio. Capricorn, the Eagle, the Sagittarius. Perhaps the keys belong to one of them. To one of them? Oh, okay, I think I have an idea. So it's like whatever it fits with all of them. We're Sagittarius, I can't even go down. You have five I know, keys. I know, I know, I know. So they must fit a constellation with only okay, five stars, Okay, no? shush! Shut up! I'm sorry. One, oh, the eagle? One, two, three, four, five. I want it to be Sagittarius because that's my. One, two, three, four, five. So I think it's gonna be. A duh. Yeah. Come on, I thought it was gonna be Sagittarius. Cause I like, I'm a Sagittarius. You had better come out of there alive. I plan to. Why can't she see? I guess it's an assassin's thing. Secrets and stuff. <gasps> oh, 
Oh my gosh. No books. No wisdom. <gasps> Just you, fratello mio. Fratello mio. Got in pace, Altair. You have seen to my books. Yes, some we sent with the polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. is much grief, and Aww. even increased knowledge, increased sorrow. What does it tell you? What do you see? Oh my god. Strange visions and messages of ones who came before, of their rise and their fall. But what happens to us, Altair? To our family? What does the apple say? who came before. What brought them here? How long ago? Get rid of that thing! This is my duty, Maria. Mm. Maria? Where? Where are you? Where is she? If you are asked, say I sent the apple away. Tell them I sent it to Cyprus or Sipango or that I dropped it into the sea. Tell them anything to keep men away from this place. This apple must not be found. Not until the time is right. Sit a moment and rest. That's a lot of money. Another artifact. <laughs> no. You will 
stay here. <laughs> I have seen enough for one life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind, like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening. <laughs> I have lived my life as best I could, not knowing its purpose but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. <laughs> and here at last, I discover a strange truth. That I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we who have been so blessed to share our stories like this? To speak across centuries? Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen. Do you hear me, Cypher? Can you see me? this nexus of time. I am not used to the calculations. That has always been Minerva's domain. <laughs> yes, <it's> like, <laughs> I see you still have many Do you want a Shirley Templar? <laughs> what became of us? What do we desire of you? You will have your answers. Only listen and I will tell you how. Both before the end and after, we sought to save the world. We built vaults within which to work, each dedicated to a different method of salvation. They were placed underground to avoid the war which raged above, and also as a precaution should we fail in our efforts. Each vault's knowledge was transmitted to a single place. It was our duty, mine, Minerva's, and Juno's, to sort and sample all that was collected. We chose those solutions which held the most promise and devoted ourselves to testing their merits. Six we tried in succession, each more encouraging than the last, but none worked. And then the world ended. Whoa, cutscene.
what the hell is happening? Oh my god, the world ended. No! The earth shook for days, the fires burned for weeks, and when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still lived, and far fewer of ours. But we carried on, together, to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there, to the place where we labored, labored and lost. Take my words. Pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. Is that his farm? Wait, there's Look, that guy. His vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's he's moving. Oh. Desmond, can you hear me? Hi. Son. Oh. Oh wait. Ah! Was I supposed to know that? Was I supposed to know that? I know what we need to do. <gasps> this is it. That's big. Supposed to know that? You weren't. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So that's in America? Because AC3? Miles William M! William M! We're going to America! <gasps> oh my god. So it's all tied. I thought it was like isolated incidents. So we didn't find out about Lucy. I love how interconnected that trio was. And that was such a beautiful ending for Ezio because he just like literally took off the mantles, passed on the mantle. He was like, he learned from Altair. Altair was like, if only I had known humility and to like, pass it on sooner and then Ezio did and now he gets a life with his woman Sophia changed the course of history yeah I'll probably save that for tomorrow oh yeah so I think tomorrow we'll watch um Expanse and then after watch Embers and the Lost Archive that wasn't as oh, okay No, we're not watching it now. We're going to watch it tomorrow. How did we, how do we get to Vikings? I don't know. Ezio said goodbye, not only to Desmond, but to the player as well. Yeah. Well, I thought that too, like when I feel like Desmond is almost like the player because when Ezio's like, Desmond, Desmond, I have to pass on a message to you. I almost feel like it's the game devs being like, these people want to pass on a message to you. And like, you can do good. You can, you can look for the truth and, and you're a part of the creed as well, especially with that breaking the fourth wall moment in Brotherhood. I think it was Brotherhood. It could have been two. Um, where I think it was Juno just or Minerva looks right at you. So the player really is like Desmond um, and Ezio 
putting his hand on Desmond and our shoulders is so precious. We work in the dark to serve the light. Yeah. There's nothing like I have lived in different continents. I've explored different religions. Nothing hits me the way that the teachings of the creed do because I just I love so much that it's all about freedom. And yes, things get messy, like Ezio said, but that's the beauty of it. And it just resonates with me so much. And part of me wishes I had the game sooner that I knew about them sooner, but also it's been really magical to like experience it with you guys. <laughs> Fratello mio. And as someone who is kind of isolated and I, I don't have like any extended family that I'm close to, no aunts, no uncles, no grandparents. I didn't, I don't know anything about my ancestry. It's so reassuring to think that there are dead people that are rooting for me. <laughs> like they're my ancestors are rooting for me and I am living my life in a way that will honor them and like bring some good into this world. And, you know, these three men have never met each other, but that's that's his brother. They're brothers. They're they know each other. And yeah, it's just really validating for little old me. I was super isolated, kind of like Desmond. Um, and then when I escaped, it was, it's very, also very much like Desmond where it's like, okay, what do, what do, what do I do? Where do I go? Like, you know, and he has all these people rooting for him. Oh, I love you, Rob. Oh, there's a rule that Sultan can't kill his brothers and spill his blood. That's why they choke them to death. <gasps> Ooh. I feel like Ezio knew Desmond was always with him way before this. Yeah. Right, Fable. And I just, I think for me, it's not going to be an issue because... Altair, Ezio, Desmond, they're all so different in personalities and temperament. So I, I feel like because I played all those games in a row, I wasn't like, I'm not so attached to Ezio. And if people hate other protagonists just because they aren't Ezio, I have news for you. Ezio would be disappointed in you because he's all about like passing it on and respecting the next person and so he would want us to pass the torch and appreciate whoever this guy is <laughs> the screen is black due to desmond being out of the animus it's so good this is like already becoming one of my favorite series i do need to wear a white hood and i also need an assassin's creed tattoo Oh, for sure, Julio. Let's see. Um, Shin has been gifting me all these games. Um, so I do have three remastered. I'm so excited for this. And I have Black Flag and I have Origins. That's what I have. Yes, Etsy literally told us he was done and wanted to live his life. Yep, we got to let him do that. Yep. <laughs> he wants to just be with his woman. Um, you did go a little bit crazy. And Ruby. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. I cannot tell you how grateful I am for you guys. And like just having people to go on this journey with because... <laughs> It's just the best. <laughs> Sorry, I'm crying with the Stardew music in the back, but it really, really is. 
it feels very special and it really does feel like a brotherhood slash sisterhood the way Ezio led them at the end when Yusuf died my brothers and sisters and to see the women in the men so sweet <laughs> and like this world is fucked up y'all like this our societies and stuff it's like really really hard and it's so awesome to know that there's you know just an assassin's creed fan base for one and then also our community that just is so international and we're so far apart but we believe in the same things and we understand and live by this creed i loved it it was so precious saving the lives and freedom of innocence yeah and kratos uh, kratos sorry <laughs> but kratos would be part of the creed um Ezio was like like i i fought for people who were experiencing injustice and that's always what i've said i just didn't know how to it's what i felt but i didn't know how to articulate it that like in this life i just want to identify see the truth i've always like when i've prayed or asked the universe for stuff i've asked for clarity like just show me the truth i don't i can't i can't get behind templar code of like let's unify everyone decrease individuality so there's peace like i'd much rather have <laughs> anarchy and chaos and everyone's free like freedom to me means so much so it's so awesome to have like those words and stuff almost as prayers and then if ever, anyone sees a tattoo that i have or anything like that we we get each other anyone who likes assassin's creed is like i get you i love that well butrin yes i love you guys so much <laughs> i'm a probably an anarchist now well, I'm going to Italy in late March. I'm excited. Liberty is not without problems, but it is priceless. Yes. 